Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in the last video, we have seen how to create the extend report in, in uh, TestNG, which is a third party tool, a third party jar. Uh, we have implemented that. But it might be possible that in your project, you have to create your own custom, uh, you know, uh, HTML reports. All right. Or maybe some kind of report which you need, which is, uh, you know, uh, which is different from the reports which you're getting than the extend report or which you're getting, which you are getting in the test ng dot XML and in the test ng project. OK, so for creating those custom reports, there are two ways. All right. So the one way is by using a listener and the another way is by using uh, without using any listener. OK, so for that, what you have to do. If you see in front of my screen, there are three tests which I have. Okay. In that, if you see, I am failing my third test case intentionally. Okay. So this is a simple uh, test class which I have. All right. If you see here, I have extended this test class with a test base. Okay. So whenever you're working on a project, you must have been, you know, you must have some of the files which you are extending. You must have some of the Java classes which are extending and there you can keep all the common things. All right. So that's what I have extended a test based class. And for that custom report, I am doing the changes in the test based class itself. All right. Let me show you this test based class, what it is. Okay. So in the test space class, what I have done, I have given an index. So for now, I have given the index as zero. So this is a test case number. So I have initialized this with the test case number zero. OK, we will increment it one by one. But right now I have just kept it zero. Then you will see there are two methods which I have created in this uh, in this file. One is after method. OK, and the another one is update results. So we will use these two methods to create the custom reports. All right. So you will see what I'm doing in after method in after method. OK, a method name is after my method. And here I have given the argument as I test results results. So this is an object which can create the results of my test. OK, and if I'm giving it after after method, that's mean it will create the results of the test case which has been executed just now. All right. So what I'm doing here now, I am first incrementing the index number. So first of all, if you see the index is zero, I am incrementing it for test case number one. OK, so as soon as my first test case run, the index number would be one now. OK, so just try to understand it. And when I will run it, you will know you will able to you will able to relate it. OK, now here I have given three condition. The conditions are if results. So results is something which we got from this object. I test results if results dot get status. OK, so get status is something which will give me a status like pass fail or something like that. So I'm just checking that if it is failure. OK. So here we are comparing if that result dot get status is failure. OK, I say I test result dot failure. Then I have to call this method update result. OK, and uh, you can ignore these things right now. Just see here I am passing fail. OK, now after that, it says if result dot get status equal to success, then I have to pass pass here. OK. And then it says in any other case, if it's not fail or pass, I am giving other. So there are many other options available besides failure and success. There can be like, you know, skip and everything. Let me just show you. So if I type something like uh, instead of failure, I have to give dot. If you see, it's given skip success percentage and other things also. But right now I'm giving this to failure pass and if it uh, does not belong to failure or success, it will come into others. OK, so this is one logic which I have given under after method. So on the basis of test results, if it is fail, success or pass, I am calling this method update result. And here I am passing certain arguments. OK, now let's talk about the arguments which I am passing in this update result. So first what I am passing, I am passing the class name. 
okay the class name through which my test cases are running so it will pa pass the my test class name then I am passing the index that is my test case number if you remember the index was 0 before which we have incremented so the first time it will pass 1 here okay then here I am passing the method name the method name which we are running I am passing here and then we are passing the status okay so this is the information I am passing to update result method and this is the method which will create a custom report for me and you can see how we have do, done that okay don't uh, uh, like uh, don't worry about this code i will uh, copy this code in one of the file and will let you know and later on you can try on your computer also and you can even do some changes and customize on your own way okay so in the update result you will see i am receiving all these uh, arguments which i have sent okay so the first line i am getting a time all right i am getting a time through this code all right and in the second line, I am just printing the time on my console. Okay. And now here, string result file, I am giving the path where I need my report. Okay. So there's a folder called custom report. Let me just show you. Okay. So this is a blank custom report. So I have given the path till custom report. And I have given my report name as test report.html. All right. So what I'm doing right now, because I have to create this HTML file. So I have to create an object of a file first. So I've created an object of a file through file file equal to new file. And I have given the path of this file, which I want to create. Okay. And then I am just, uh, you know, printing on the console if the file exists already or not. Okay. If the file does not exist, okay the file which i am trying to you know create if this does not exist then what we are doing we are creating a file writer okay and then i am creating a buffer writer so these two are the you know are the code which is necessary if you want to write something into the file all right so this is a java concept after that you can see i have written my file dot write and now i am writing some html code so if you understand about html you will know that for every html file it start with the html tag okay then i am giving a head and title and title i am giving text execution report okay then i am writing a body here then you know i am declaring the font and then i am just giving the test execution report as a heading all right so this is something which i have written down on my file and it will only create if my file is not existing all right let's assume the first time my file was not exist existing and it has created that okay so what it will do now i am creating another buffer writer okay in that what i'm doing if my test case is one okay if my test case is one then what it will do the first time okay it will create some rows and some columns all right so this is a plain uh, html which you will understand when you will see the code here i am creating four columns one is serial number class name test name and response that's it so in the html i have just created a table and under that i am giving tr and td and creating four columns here okay and after that what will happen so on every test case including number one test case it will go ahead and append the information so that information is index si that is the test case number the class name the method name and the response so these four are the variables which i am getting in the my method so this was the method which i was getting it from here at the top okay so I am getting all this in my method and after that I am doing bw1.write flush and close to write everything into the file. So this is the simplest way through which we can create an HTML file through our custom code. Okay. So now if you see here, I'm not doing anything. I'm just extending the test base. Okay. In test base. Okay. So in test base, what we are doing, we have two methods one is the update results which is updating the result and another is the method which will run after every method because i have given under the tag after method and here i am just checking the result if it's failure success or an other it will you know call this update result method 
Now let's try to run this. Run as test ng test. Okay. So now it says, you know, three test cases run and one fail. Okay. Now what we will do, we will see is custom report. It is blank right now. Let me do a refresh. Okay. So it has given me custom report. And if I open it, open with web browser, you will see the custom report has created. Okay. So whenever we are working on a project, sometime it's possible, you know, the extend reports which we have talked about earlier or the test ng report, you know, that give us many details. And sometimes our leadership is not interested in looking at those kinds of reports. They just want to know what are the test cases which are pass and fail and what is the total count of the test cases. In those kinds of scenario, you can create this custom report of yours. And if I run this test again, let me just run this test again run test and test okay let me refresh it all right let me open it again all right see if you see here what is happening that first time you know it has created this the second time it has also again created it has not overwritten in the report which is provided by test ng that reports always get overrided but here we have put the logic on the basis of that you know it will give you a different time also that on this time this report was there and on this time this report has been created so it provides you the ability to also maintain the history of the report automatically okay so this is one time of a custom report which we have created the another report which i want to show you is through the listeners so let me just this package and okay so if you know as i talked before for listeners what we have to do we have to go to our testng.xml so i have just renamed it as smoke.xml and here we have to give the listener name so here i have given the listener name as mypack.customreporter now i will show you this custom reporter listener okay so this is custom reporter Okay, so I have created a class called custom reporter. I have and I'm implementing a listener I reporter. So we have already implemented many listeners before, but in this class, I am implementing a I reporter listener. Okay, so as soon as I implement it, it will try to override the generate report method, which belongs to I reporter, and it will receive certain arguments here. Okay, so we have to just look on the code, which is from the for loop. All right. So in this listener, I first have to iterate through all the suits. So right now I have only one suit here, right? But this listener expect that I need to iterate through all the suits. Okay. So I've given for I suit suit suits so that I can iterate through all the suits through the enhanced for loop. All right. And then I'm getting a suit name. All right. After that, what I'm doing, I am doing suit dot get results okay it will give me a suit result all right and then i am iterating through all the results of that suit all right and when i'm doing it now i test context is a you know object of a class which can give me all the information of my test results so i'm have created an object of i test context and here i am doing suit dot get test context all right now what i can do after I have reached here, I can go ahead and either I can do a sysout or I can create the HTML files which I have done before, like this. Okay, but for the simplicity purpose, I have just created a sysout here. So here I am just doing a sysout and I am giving my get pass test case dot got all for example tc dot get pass test case. So if you see here, tc is what? TC is my i test context. Okay, so all the information which I need is under this I test context object, which is TC. Okay, and this I have got from my SR uh, SR uh, variable, and this SR is my suit results. Okay, so now through this using the TC, I can get all the information which I want. So I'm saying TC dot get pass test dot get all result dot size. So it will give me the total count of the test cases which are passed. So there are many methods under TC which you can use. Uh, let me just show you. TC dot. 
okay so if you see there are many methods which you can use so what will happen so as soon as your test cases get run after all your test cases get run this listener will be called and according to that listener you know from here we can create our custom report and all the information which you have seen in the test ng report all the information you can put here and you can put some additional information here also or maybe you can create your own html file also but i am not creating any html file as we have done before i am just you know printing out on the sysout okay so this is happening through the i reporter uh, and we have implemented this i reporter here okay under our test engine.xml all right so this i reporter listener will help me to generate a custom report all right so let me do a right click run as test ng suit so if you see here on the console it has created a custom report for me okay it says this is a custom report on console but but we can create html pages also if needed and this is the report which i have generated through this listener through the i reporter listener okay so these are the two way through which we can go ahead and uh, generate our custom reports so these are very basic reports right now but my idea was to just make you understand the concept of the custom reporting in test ng by using i reporter and without using the i reporter okay so you can always go ahead and modify it and you can create your own report which you want to show to the leadership and which you want in your project all right and i will make sure that you know these code i will put it somewhere and i will put it into the description so that you can copy them up and you can modify it as per your need all right so thank you for watching this video if any information uh, you know you can let me know if you like the video please hit on the like button and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet thank you